In Kathleen Wellman's Queens and Mistresses of Renaissance France, the author delves into the intricate and often tumultuous relationships between powerful women and the French monarchy during the Renaissance period. Wellman's work presents a rich tapestry of historical narratives and insights, exploring the multifaceted roles of queens and mistresses within the intricate web of French court politics. This literary analysis aims to unpack the key themes and contributions of Wellman's book in 620 to 660 words. Wellman's narrative commences with a thorough exploration of the political landscape in Renaissance France. She sets the stage by describing the inherent power dynamics, the centrality of the monarchy, and the ever-present quest for political stability. It is within this framework that the author introduces the central figures of her narrative, the queens and mistresses, who, despite their gender, managed to wield considerable influence within the royal court. One of the primary strengths of Wellman's work is her nuanced portrayal of these women as multifaceted individuals, far from being mere pawns or adornments to the monarchy. Through meticulous research and analysis, the author brings to light the agency and strategic thinking employed by queens and mistresses in navigating the treacherous waters of court politics. Wellman emphasizes that these women were not passive spectators but active participants in shaping the destiny of the nation. A recurring theme in the book is the delicate balance between love and politics. Queens and mistresses often found themselves at the intersection of personal desire and state affairs. Wellman explores the dynamics of these relationships, demonstrating how they could serve as sources of strength and vulnerability. The intimate bonds formed between monarchs and their mistresses, for instance, often sparked controversy and intrigue, yet they also offered a unique avenue for influence. Wellman highlights the stories of famous mistresses like Diane de Poitiers and Madame de Pompadour, showcasing the impact they had on their respective kings and the course of history. Another compelling aspect of Wellman's analysis is her examination of the enduring consequences of these relationships. The decisions made by queens and mistresses had far-reaching effects, not only on their personal lives but on the entire nation. The author argues that their influence was not confined to the court, it extended to matters of state, including diplomacy, religion, and warfare. Wellman's meticulous research uncovers instances where queens and mistresses played instrumental roles in shaping the political landscape of France. Wellman also delves into the theme of patronage and the cultural impact of these influential women. She highlights the vital role they played in promoting art, literature, and intellectual pursuits. Queens and mistresses were often avid supporters of the arts, contributing to the flourishing of Renaissance culture in France. This aspect of their influence is a testament to their broader impact on the nation's identity. While Wellman's narrative is rich and well-documented, it is not without its critiques. Some readers may find the book's depth of detail overwhelming, as it can be challenging to keep track of the numerous historical figures and their intricate relationships. Additionally, the book's focus on the elite may leave some readers craving a more comprehensive exploration of the lives and experiences of common people during the Renaissance. In conclusion, Kathleen Wellman's Queens and Mistresses of Renaissance France offers a comprehensive and enlightening exploration of the power and influence wielded by women at the heart of the French monarchy during the Renaissance. Wellman's narrative paints a vivid picture of the complex dynamics of the era, showcasing the queens and mistresses as active participants in the political and cultural life of the nation. The book challenges preconceived notions about the limitations of women in this historical context, emphasizing their agency and impact. Wellman's detailed research and compelling storytelling make this work a valuable contribution to the field of Renaissance history and a testament to the enduring legacy of these remarkable women.